Standard Methods of Sterilizing Baby Bottles There are a number of different methods to sterilize your baby's bottles, teats, lids, and other feeding equipment. You can pick and choose from any of the tried and tested options given below, depending on what's most convenient for you. The mechanism behind sterilization through boiling water works by raising the temperature high enough to kill any bacteria left over after washing. This is perhaps the simplest form of sterilization and does not require any special equipment. A basic kitchen pan or pot and clean water are all you need for this method to work. However, before you proceed with this method, make sure that the feeding equipment that you want to sterilize is safe to boil. Here are four safe methods. 1. Sterilization by boiling. Fill an adequately sized pot or pan with sufficient water to cover the feeding equipment that you intend to sterilize. Immerse the freshly washed feeding equipment in it such that there are no air traps. Cover the pan with a heavy plate or lid that almost touches the surface of the water. Place the pan on a stove burner set on high, and bring the water to a boil. Let the water boil for at least 10 minutes, and set a timer so you don't forget to turn the heat off. If you plan to prepare the bottle right away, clean your hands and the kitchen surface beforehand. In fact, disinfecting your hands before handling any sterilized equipment is mandatory regardless. Use sterilized tongs to pull out the equipment from the pen. To that end, you may want to plunge the tongs into the water while it was boiling and leave them be for some time. Once the heat is turned off, allow the tongs to cool off a bit so that you don't burn yourself in trying to hold them. As soon as you take the equipment out, assemble the lids and teats on the bottle straight away. Give the bottle a shake to get rid of the dripping water, if you need to use them right after sterilization. If there is no urgency, place the bottle on a dry, clean dishcloth in an upside-down position or on the upturned lid of the pan to get rid of the excess water and allow them to air dry. Once dry, refrigerate the bottles with the teat on in a clean container to prevent contamination. Note: Because the teats are usually too fragile to bear the boiling heat for a prolonged period, they are likely to crack or tear in this method. For this reason, it's best to boil them for no more than 5 minutes. Even then, regularly check them for any sign of heat-induced damage. 2. Using the microwave. Microwave sterilization works on the principle of using steam power to sterilize baby bottles and teats. As microwaves that are in regular household use invite a lot of food spills, they are often hygienically unfit for conducting a sterilization process. There are, however, specially designed sterilization units available in the market that also harness the power of steam. Such units enclose the bottles in a plastic casing, giving them a more thorough cleaning inside the microwave. Whether you are using a microwave steam sterilizer or a standard kitchen microwave, make sure that all the feeding equipment is thoroughly cleaned before beginning the sterilization process. You will also want to make sure that the insides of your microwave are devoid of any food residue. When using a regular microwave, fill a bowl with water such that the feeding bottle, teats, rings, caps, and other accessories get submerged in it. Place the bowl in the microwave set on high for about 3 to 4 minutes. Use clean, dry oven mitts to remove the equipment from the microwave. Dump the remaining water, and let the equipment air dry on a sanitary surface. Alternatively, you can also wait for the feeding items to return to normal temperature so that you can handle them with your bare but clean hands. 4. Avail an electric sterilizer. An electric sterilizer is one of the most convenient tools for sterilizing your baby's bottle. This device gets the job done in no time and with minimum effort. High temperature steam is used to kill the microorganisms in the bottles and teats. Simply place the cleaned baby bottles and teats into the sterilizing unit. Make sure the mouth of the bottle and teats are facing downward to allow efficient sterilization. Pour clean filtered water as instructed in the user manual. Switch on the device. Switch it off once the sterilization is complete. Go through the user manual to check for instructions regarding how long the bottles can be kept inside. Electric sterilizers are far more efficient than boiling or microwave methods as they obliterate the chances of any human fallacy.
Safety Tips Always be alert when using hot or boiling liquids, especially if there are children in the house. Never leave them unattended or within reach of children to stave off burning accidents or injuries. Be mindful when using steam for sterilization as it can burn or scald you just as badly as boiling water. Store chemicals and chemical solutions in places that are beyond the reach of children. If you do not wash your hands thoroughly before handling equipment that has been sterilized, you risk transferring any lingering germs from your hand to the freshly sterilized bottle. This single lapse can undo all your concerted efforts and must be avoided.